uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about the life tables and the probabilities uh, so in insurance business the probability for survival is an important concept uh, so how do you define the probability for survival so suppose uh, um, if we write it in uh, this way the p uh, x 1 that means that a person uh, age uh, is equal to x and we are calculating the probability to survive probability to survive uh, for uh, one year so this is how this notation uh, can be seen and same way if we have qx1 that that means that person is still age x and uh, what is a probability uh, uh, for dying so how what's the probability that the person will die so in that case if you look at this notation this notation should be equal to 1 minus qx1 so this is how uh, we use the notations uh, for uh, probability to survive and probability to die and uh, so we have more notations so suppose if we write it this way um, qx1 2 so this means that the person his age uh, is x and uh, we want to calculate the probability that he survive uh, for two years and then die uh, in third year so this is how uh, we call it uh, we, we look at this notation so how one will calculate this uh, this can be calculated as uh, q of x 1 2 uh, is equal to probability of x to survive uh, 2 years and then uh, probability to die so that will be equal to 1 minus probability of x plus uh, 2 and 1 so this is how you can calculate or you can also write it this way probability to survive for two years and probability to die uh, within one year after you are x plus two year old so this is how you can uh, look at this uh, formula now uh, life tables so sometimes we uh, are given life tables so this is uh, this has following columns age and suppose the age starts from 70 71 72 73 and we have uh, numbers the numbers will be like 100 90 70 and 50 so what does it mean it means that suppose if we start with 100 people at age 70 then uh, there will be only 90 people at uh, age 71 and only 70 at age 72 and only 50 at 873 so that means people died and uh, the number of deaths uh, will be 10 at 870 uh, will be 20 at 871 and will be 20 at 872 right so how one can get these numbers so mostly we uh, have uh, count for the population so city has this data and uh, they can um, uh, estimate how many people uh, are at particular ages and what are their uh, survival times and uh, based on this data uh, because this we are looking at a huge population we can get an overall estimate of what's the normal trend for people to survive at what age it's more probable for them to die so how do we use uh, this for this uh, table so suppose uh, if you want to calculate probability for age 70 uh, to survive for two years so how we'll do this is so as we can see there are 100 people at age 70 and uh, after two years there are only 70 percent left so therefore uh, the probability to survive is 0.7 so that will be our answer and if we say what's the probability for someone uh, at age 72 to survive for one year and in that case we look at 72 so there are 70 people and for them to survive to 873 uh, we have to divide it by 50 
and so because there are only 50 people uh, at that time so that will be our answer if you want to calculate what's the uh, probability for age uh, uh, 72 to die within one year in that case it will be equal to 20 by 70 so again if you want to calculate how to uh, like suppose if we say q 70 and uh, say 1 and 2 so the person has to survive for two years and then die in the third year in that case uh, it will be equal to um, 20 divided by 100 because the person uh, can die uh, the probability for person to die uh, in the third year will be 20% uh, and then he has to survive for uh, that time so that survival will be given by uh, 70 by 100 so that will be our probability so I hope this tutorial helped and I'll see you again with more concepts. Thank you.